parting off blade, what they've done, they have created a, a bit of a coolant uh, feed that comes through the blade itself. Um, it comes through the blade and it actually comes out of the very bottom and the top and that gets the coolant directly to the end of the cutting edge, uh, reducing the temperature and yep. reducing breakages. Welcome to another Technical Corner. Today we're here with Mark Warrington from Mitsubishi Materials. We're talking about grooving and parting, uh, parting off, and these are quite annoying operations, or they can be for machinists. Why are they? Uh, I think, well, we've got our GW and our GY systems, which is for parting and grooving, and they can be annoying because what happens on a shop floor is uh, you can do have a normal, robust turning uh, process, but the grooving and parting seems to be a, bit, a little bit less robust and it can make a bit of a mess if it goes wrong. Yeah, and if, you, if we dig into that a bit more as well, they're, they're less stable than kind of normal turning because? Why, why is that? Uh, I just think probably because it's in a groove, maybe less co uh, coolant can get to the edge of the tip. Um, some materials also close in when you're going down into a groove, so yeah, not always the best process. Yeah, and the inserts are a bit smaller as well, so less robust, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And also because we're, they're down inside the groove, what does that mean for the machinist in terms of visibility? Uh, the machinist can't actually see what's happening to the edge of that tip. Sometimes when you've got a turning tip, you can see it glowing, but when it's inside somewhere with loads of coolant and swarf, you can't see anything. No, no, so it might be just machining down on, on bare metal, no carbide left. Absolutely, and... on, it could be on the tool body itself. Okay, fair enough. So let's talk about now the, the systems you've brought to show us, the parting off and the grooving, um, and how Mitsubishi have tried to mitigate this kind of, this annoyance from this, this quite different Difficult process. Um, shall we start with parting off? Yeah, start with the parting off. So the parting off blade, what they've done, they have created a, a bit of a coolant uh, feed that comes through the blade itself. Um, it comes through the blade and it actually comes out of the very bottom and the top and that gets the coolant directly to the end of the cutting edge, uh, reducing the temperature and yeah. reducing breakages. Absolutely, so you can see the, the general parting blade looks pretty standard but it has some extra little um, coolant capping off um, options here. Um, and two, two clear coolant tubes, which I guess normally if you're trying to get a parting off tool down, 50 mil down into the part, a, a standard tube from a, a lathe's not going to get in there, is no, it? No, it's going to be blocked by swarf and everything else that's in its way. Yeah, so I guess that helps with automated systems as well, where you know that whatever happens when that parting off tool is in there, there will be coolant being applied to the cut. Absolutely, and it's also push, helping pushing the swarf out. Yeah, totally. And I guess the, the parting operation is actually quite important. It's the last operation before a finished part comes off, I guess. It is, yeah. Yeah, so why is it important, I guess, to make sure that this operation is more stable? Um, I suppose it could be some people, they part off and that component is complete. So they want to make sure that that face where they're parting off is absolutely flush as anything and it's clean. Uh, they also want to make sure that the uh, any pip on the end is minimal. Nice, so hopefully good finished parts with a nice back face. Um, and then moving on to, kind of, you've got a lot more here to show us in terms of grooving. Um, how have you tried to improve the grooving process in terms of stability? Okay, so you're just looking at this tool over here. So this is just a general monoblock tool. Uh, it'll be external coolant on this. And obviously if something breaks on there, that goes and then all of a sudden that's in the bin. Uh, where what they have done, they have created an adaptable system that they can then take out an individual blade on the end. Now, whenever you put an extra connection in, obviously that just creates its own instability, but we have got two uh, slots on the side, so they can screw in there, and you've also got screws on the side, and this top screw actually clamps it down as well. And on the seating position itself, you've also got two notches, which prevents the insert from pulling out. Absolutely, so instead of the monoblock, which is almost a bit consumable in of itself when kind of the, the quite likely to happen unfortunately does happen um, and you throw them on a block as, uh, as well as the car by the way I guess that's quite a big expense it's a huge expense where you can for the third of the price you can just replace it with one of them and when it comes to options mark with a tri-lock um, how different is it from the monoblock in terms of how many different areas you can hit on the on the component um, well, with this as well, you can then go from a 90 degrees approach, you can go from a straight degree approach, and then you can also go for a 50 degree approach for any recessing or copying or any angles that you need to get into. And in terms of materials that you're going to be cutting, is there any limitation on the, on the exotics, heat resistant super alloys? There's no limitation. Uh, we have two main grades, VP10 RT and VP20, and they cover most materials, but we are, again, developing new uh, products all the time, so we have brought out a specific uh, grade for is for uh, heat resistant uh, materials and I guess it's probably quite difficult grooving in uh, heat resistant super alloys 
It can be, yeah. Um, we have got the uh, we've got the insert grades to be able to cope with it at the minute, but we are also developing new grades uh, that are very similar to our turning grades that uh, can cope with that kind of material. Thanks, Mark. So you've seen a wide range of products from Mitsubishi Materials aimed at making grooving a slightly more robust process and parting off a more reliable process to get good components off. Um, if someone wants to try this technology out, how can they? Oh, just contact uh, the office in Tamworth or they can contact our website, uh, put some details in there and we can get straight back to you. Brilliant. Details are on the screen now.